How's it going guys? Steven Cassioli here at Cassioli's Trade the Conditioning. This is uh, <clears throat> week four of my off-season uh, training. Everything's been going very well. Um, like I said in previous videos, just really accumulating a lot of volume with all lifts. Um, yeah, so this is my uh, first, wor first workout of the week here. I believe it was uh, 245. I think I did something like six sets of eight or something like that. Moved really smooth. Um, yeah, following this, um, I uh, did some close grip work at, uh, I think, the same weight, but I was only doing, uh, I think, sets of five. I think I did four or five sets of five. My, uh, my closer grip is actually, like, and number wise actually fairly close to uh, my comp grip um, I've tested maybe I don't know like a little while ago and it was still like yeah like 315 320 ish so it's working on weaknesses building some tricep strength there um, to help with my lockout <clears throat> here's the uh, a midweek workout I did a uh, singles yeah five singles high bar at 425 and then I did, uh, I think I did five or six doubles following it. Um, yeah, just switched racks there. Uh, I like using the ERX much more, uh, much more easier to walk out. Um, the cage is a little, uh, little close, and sometimes bang the weights on the side there. I think this is, uh, yeah, my double that I did here. Um, yeah, I've done high bar in a while, like this weight, anyways. The most I've squatted high bar is four seventy. Um, Maybe about a year and a half ago, and I switched to low bar. So if I can get that high bar back up there, it's a good sign. My low, uh, my low bar should be going up. I included some accessory this week. Um, yeah, so just a uh, single arm dumbbell rows. I think yeah, this was set with like what seventy five pounds. I, think I did sets of ten here. Um, I think I did a set with the eighties uh, following this. Um, yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite back exercises. Following a um, squat day, I may do some barbell rows or snatch grip rows, but I feel like this works it uh, works my back the best, and um, I could really focus on those weaknesses, especially my uh, my left arm. To be honest with you, because I broke my wrist, broke my elbow on that side, and it actually does feel a little weaker as I'm uh, rowing um, compared to the right side there. So here's a set with the 80 pound dumbbells. Um, yeah, I don't I don't tend to go crazy heavy. Like yeah, I could pump out probably the hundreds uh, following a squat workout, but I'm just really focusing on uh, getting that full extension and trying to use my back the uh, the best I can. Um, like like I said, it's just accessories, so you don't have to go buck on the movement. Just really really focus on technique. And uh, getting that extra work in, like for me, like I think my back is probably um, a weakness of mine. Um, yeah, so that's what I did following squats once a day. Um, next workout uh, coming up here is my Thursday. I did uh, sets of five at 265, and then I think my. Uh, I think it was seventh set. I uh, decided to do an AMRAP because the the sixth set was just super like super fast. It's like honestly felt like nothing was on the bar. <laughs> yeah, so I think this was the I think this was the sixth set and it was like nothing. Um, so uh, here's the AMRAP. Um, yeah, I got like a comfortable. Like eight was like really good, and the last two were like a little slower. Um, you you can see on a few of them here, like I actually almost don't even touch my chest. Like I try to pause it right before, so it's really uh, helping me um, just keep my lats uh, super tight throughout the whole movement, rather than just like dropping it onto my chest and then losing control off my chest. It's hard to recover. So here it is. Squeeze the last one out there. Um, following that, um, I've been doing a lot of conventional. 
deficit stuff. So I think uh, last week I did um, a deficit one board, so one inch deficit, and then uh, this week um, I'm at a two inch deficit. Weight's fairly light, just really um, building my back posterior chain strength, and um, yeah, getting used to the conventional movement again. And then here is uh, Friday. So as you guys have been probably seeing on my Instagram uh, posts, you've been following me at Cassiole Yes, see, um, I've been doing a top single with wraps every Friday before I start my uh, working sets. Um, yeah, just to hit a heavy single, and it actually doesn't um, doesn't fatigue me as much as doing it raw. It's um, I like it a lot. I'm gonna use it as long as I can. Um, so yeah, this is the heaviest I've been. Here's 525 for a single. As you can see, like came out the whole quick, and I guess I think it just popped up so fast. I thought the Raptor was gonna do all the work, and I honestly just stopped pushing. But uh, yeah, that felt pretty good. And then here's the. I think I did five sets of three at uh, 455. Following that, they moved pretty well. Um, this is the most I've hit uh, for triples raw since um, Worlds. So can't complain with that. Don't forget to like and subscribe at Cassioli Straight the Conditioning, and we'll see you next week. Thanks.